Welcome to your City of Greensboro Weekly Flash Briefing. The City of Greensboro invites the community to complete an online survey to aid in the search for the next Chief of Police. The survey, which is open through Friday, September 30th, includes multiple topics such as key issues facing the police department and top priorities for the new police chief. The results of the survey will be tabulated and shared by the consulting group Developmental Associates. The online survey is in addition to the last of three virtual Zoom meetings for public input. The last session will be held from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Wednesday, August 31st. Participants can join the meeting via Zoom using the meeting ID or dial in by phone by calling 669-444-9171 followed by the passcode 959723. Former Greensboro Police Chief Brian James retired from the city on May 31st. The Greensboro City Council has approved nearly $25 million of the nearly $60 million in federal American Rescue Plan funding. This enables the city to address equitable economic recovery and community asset renewal projects, such as affordable and veterans housing, support for minority and women-owned businesses, entrepreneurs, and community programs. Funds were also designated for critical building infrastructure investment at the Central Library, Greensboro Cultural Center, and City Recreation Pools, as well as the pre-construction costs for the transformational Windsor Chavis Community Complex. All other projects previously submitted as part of the city's ARP program are still under consideration. ARP project updates are available on the city's website. Creative Greensboro, the Office of Arts and Culture, is expanding its neighborhood arts program to bring additional cultural experiences to three southeast Greensboro communities this fall and next spring. Residents of Dudley Heights, Glenwood, and Kings Forest will have opportunities to attend live concerts, storytelling and art-making events, or a poetry and visual arts series. These programs build on the community-based activities Creative Greensboro supported last year through the Neighborhood Arts Residency Program. To date, Creative Greensboro has committed more than $150,000 toward creative projects in the five neighborhoods identified for reinvestment in the city's housing GSO plan. For more information about the Neighborhood Arts Residency Program, visit the city's website. This concludes the weekly flash briefing for the City of Greensboro. For in-depth news, tune in to FYI Weekly on Greensboro Television Network on Spectrum, AT&T, North State, and Roku. Keep up with the latest city news on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to download our weekly podcast, Talk City Greensboro, and Connect GSO. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next flash briefing.